Uh, the bracket, number 12. <laughs> Jeff Lowe, Ken Jack, Nick, KB, Coley, Che, Owen. 12th bracket. Here we go, folks. Coley, welcome back. 21st bracket of 2022. Uh, people asked. They wanted a new bracket. We're going to give it to them. Uh, it's best fart. No, um, <laughs> perfect. We're gonna do it's the worst one is stinky farts. <laughs> worst couples. Worst couples is the bracket tonight. Um, uh, there's some fictional or some real. Uh, we had to avoid a little bit. Like it was like I think we're gonna do another like combos type thing. Not combo, like duos at some point as well. Not to we, but this is just couples. So fictional or real couples. Couple stretches here. Uh, then the 15 seed, we will it'll be a play in game. It's actually a KB activated play in game. Um, I'm not going to say what it is yet, but the 15 seed is on the heels of KB having a pop culture moment 20 years too late. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I could have added uh, 10 more. <laughs> this K, KB, oh. funny. <laughs> oh. what's your obvious. guess? Is a Sopranos thing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, every, yes. every bracket. <laughs> You can tell KB still binging The Sopranos for the first time. <laughs> this episode of The Bracket brought to you by Dollar Shave Club. Need a gift for someone important in your life? Something that says, hey, you're great. But also, you know, I've been using my fucking razor. That's pretty gross. Please stop. Well, Dollar Shave Club, they got you covered. Six-blade starter set. Includes one diamond grip handle plus a cassette of their stainless steel six-blade razors. All for just 10 bucks. Available online and in stores, dollarshaveclub.com. The thoughtfully designed handles are sleek, weighty, feature a distinctive diamond grip pattern to prevent any unwanted slipping. But you don't want to be slipping when you're uh, when you're shaving, folks. Uh, stainless steel blades feature a flexible head and built-in trimmer blade to help you get all those hard-to-reach places like under your nose, edge of sideburn, all that stuff. And again, like I said, in store as well. Dollar Shave Club, they've been around for a while. They've been great. But now, even like in a pinch, you can still get your Dollar Shave Club in store or online. Do yourself a favor. Get the six-blade starter set for you and your significant other. So from now on, you can make your razor just your razor. Uh, Quality's great. Uh, Find it now. In stores, online, dollarshaveclub.com. That's in stores and online at dollarshaveclub.com. Welcome to the club. Um, Here we go. 16. Uh, different couples, and we'll start off at the top. The one seed, Landslide, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, the inspiration for so many things in pop culture and movies, TV, music. This is, books. This is worst couples or best couples? Worst, worst couples. They were trash. You seem to like them, Nick. What? They oh, you like... made it almost seem like you were stunned to hear that they were on the worst couples. Break. I thought you were about to defend them. No, no. I mean, I guess like in today's, you know, people come like, you know, we're like a modern day Ro- Romeo and Juliet. That's a good thing. But they were like kids that died. For themselves. <laughs> how many how many versions of Romeo and Juliet do they not die? Is it just Nomeo and Juliet, the animated gnome spinoff of Romeo and Juliet, which do they I forget. Do they die in that? They there's a sequel to the movie, isn't there? So I don't think so. Sure well, I've only seen Sherlock Gnomes. <laughs> They're mm, all in the same yeah. universe. True. Well, yes. Yeah, obviously. That's not a shocker, <laughs> Jeff. By the way, I saw I saw one of the most out of touch. I don't know if anyone watches Arrested Development. One of like the funnier moments is when Lucille, like how much is a banana? And she says how much she thinks a banana is. Uh, Shark Tank recently, somebody came in and their product was custom lawn gnomes. And Barbara Corcoran had no idea he's like, like what's a what's a gnome it's like she what? Know what a lawn gnome was how, how That's rich impressive. must you be to have like the idea of like a simple yard go over your head just i i will say as someone who's had to buy a lot of home goods in the last like 12 months they force gnomes onto everything not even just lawns like you can't go one christmas decoration down without seeing three gnomes on something like it's <laughs> it's gotten out of hand do you get like custom gnomes or something? Do you get like like a Patriots gnome? I, don't, I gnome? don't want them. I want. I, I strive to be Barbara Corcoran to get to the point where I have no idea what a gnome is. I'm shocked mm-hmm. gnomes haven't had like a resurgence like bacon or mustaches. Well, just about like they fall gnomes. into the same vein. Gnomes had a craze like bacon. Much they like did. Them. When was the gnome craze? They this was they, like 
I think I was going to say the 80s. I think oh, in the 80s. Oh, what? In the oh, 80s, oh, I feel like oh, the, the gnomes the 80s, were huge. It's a big gap. I was at the late 2000s. Like, people thought they were hilarious. People they like, were like, right, but they were not the same as bacon or mustaches. People weren't tattooing gnomes on their finger. They, they, were, the, they may as well have been. The smarts are like gnomes, gnomes, right? Clothes. Like, people thought gnomes were funny as hell. Wait, the silent was, G, by the way, the silent G is they, they they're out for me. Anything with the silent G, I'm almost immediately out. And gnomes are part of that that nomenclature. This uh, this past uh, uh, Easter, my I was back in West Virginia, and my mom said she had a surprise for our family, and so we went to a pottery studio, and we all had to make gnomes on Easter Sunday. Oh, uh, you make like a Jesus yeah. gnome? No, just a regular gnome on the cross. The <laughs> <laughs> well, why? I don't know. I don't know. But now she has them all on like the mantle. That's nice. That's Not even the yard. No, uh, that's a You're bummer. Ruined. They're indoor gnomes. Yeah, they're indoor <laughs> gnomes. Thank you, Steve. Uh, anyway, this is Romeo and Juliet. Uh, I forgot. They're taking on from the show Curb Your Enthusiasm, Jeff and Susie. Ooh. Uh, Larry's manager, Jeff. And then obviously Susie, the repugnant Susie Green. Uh, though always has a nice fashion and wardrobe on. Um, I should actually, you know what? We're Fuck gonna, you, Larry. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna risk a DMCA here. We're gonna we're we're gonna risk. We're gonna play a clip from the show in a second. Just fuck it. Why Good, not? Fuck it. Fuck <laughs> it. What are they? What are they gonna do, Che? Right? It's not I love I don't care. I love Susan <laughs> Green so much. They're gonna man. pull the ads, Che. Um, <laughs> What do we think here? Who's who's the worst couple? 16 C Je- Jeff and Susie stink, but Romeo and Juliet, I mean, in every form of content, they're horrible. Mm. They, they killed themselves, memory. Jeff. They did kill themselves. So they got married a few days after like, they met, then they got married, and then he killed himself. They both killed themselves, technically, right? Were they bad yeah. people? The, I don't think One they were. Was- one drank the poison and then was the dead. other stab. The other one stab was a yeah. stab. She took the poison that the thing that made her seem like she was dead, but she wasn't actually dead. Oh, and then when yeah. Romeo, fake, Romeo, fake. yeah, and then Romeo was like, "Oh shit, she's dead." Killed himself with a dagger or something, and then I think she did the same thing. Uh, I don't know. I'm paraphrasing my Shakespeare here. Total Capulet move right there. So <laughs> there's also a uh, Montague yeah. as well. Uh, I don't like that you said that with such a hard T. Let's yeah, let's keep it. Easy. The best mm-hmm. direct representation of Romeo and Juliet, as Ken Jack knows, is definitely Romeo plus Juliet, the Leonardo DiCaprio. Mm-hmm. One of the biggest differences between our movie rankings on MovieRankings.net is is that movie, the, that one, and also the one that they make you watch in high school where you get to see a tit, uh, which is I think the one from like the sixties or something like that, and that that one's up there for me, one of the first titties. Um, there were, I mean, Jeff and Jeff, be like twelve. They, they were definitely very young. They were like in their te- like mid teens. They were mid-teen titties? <laughs> well, I don't know the age of the actress at the well, time. What, if you adjust for inflation, they were 24. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, at least. The, Jeff and Susie, every season, Jeff cheats on Susie, and Susie says he's fat and has a small dick. Um, and so, so I, I mean, so. that's not a great couple. Um, or they're so good. You could argue they're Romeo and Juliet women. killed themselves, Jeff. <laughs> that's true. Mm. So is that a sweep for Romeo and Juliet? Imagine the smirk Shakespeare had when he was writing that shit. Those people (laughs) had to have lost their minds. They also caused other people to die, too, which I think makes them worse. Like a huge war. Yeah, big time battle over them. And they were from like insanely wealthy families, right? Both of them. Like they could have been barstool interns. (laughs) (laughs) Also for, 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 for video game junkies out there, if you're watching this episode... Uh, I just need to note that Owen currently looks like uh, Parappa the Rapper. Parappa the Rapper. Parappa the Rapper. Right? Yeah, yeah. 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 He does. He does. He looks on it too. Like Parappa the Rapper. Yeah, yeah. Good Everybody game. was thinking it. Good game. Um, all right, Romeo and Juliet move on. Next category. Uh-huh. We don't have a ton of celebrity ones in here. And I'm going to admit, partially because Ken Jack and I would like to keep doing interviews for our podcast. There's a few I took out of here. Um, somebody actually yeah. on this list was offered to us today, though, and we kept them on the list because it, you just Integrity. had to. Uh, the I feel like is, I did the nominations totally wrong. You, the eight, you're probably, you wait, did, did you, you, you sort of did, did you duos. Wait, what did you think? 
like I did like less than a handful of couples, but then I did like cu- the word couple. Oh, so you had like Quentin so, couples on there for sure, didn't you? Couples. <laughs> No, he actually did not have an NFL reference, surprisingly. Wow, that would have been the that's Uh, a home run, Quentin Couples. What was one of your submissions that had the word couples? Yeah, like what are you saying? Like when you get a text from your friend that says, like, be there in a couple mins, and it's like they just left. I thought I I thought that was that was gonna be the winner. Everybody does have that five minute guy, though. There is a five minute friend. That would be my buddy Landon, who's listening right now. He is the five minute. Always a Landon. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, All right. Well, I got to rethink everything. <laughs> you, don't, you don't have a draft pool. That's they're already big. <laughs> Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin, the eight seed. Oh, oh, yeah. I'm allergic to this hat. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, he's getting no <laughs> bitches since he started wearing it. <laughs> wait, you're, wait, are your eyes? Are you popped up? Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, what is, you're having an allergic reaction to your beanie. I think it's this thing, dude. Oh my Did you find it in like an alley filled with stray cats? Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I just got up and checked everything I ate today. I'm in the clear, so it's got to be the got to be. Wow, the How did you check it's everything you ate? Purchase at the Paulin store. <laughs> oh my uh, god. Uh, Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin, the lead singer for Coldplay, and then one of the original douchebag reality couples, Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montag. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oof. <laughs> Spencer Pratt had a run though where he was the butt of every joke on late night TV for a while. For like Especially a year. The yeah, yeah, the, dude, the, yeah. Soup, the, the soup fucking hated Joel Spencer Joel Pratt. McHale. Joel McHale had a fucking bullseye on his ass. Yeah, like, they, they kept year. on making fun of his invisible eyebrows, as yeah. I recall. Spencer <laughs> Pratt and his translucent transparent eyebrows. Yeah. And and yeah, the 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 jokes about Spencer Pratt were never particularly on the nose. They were never particularly new, new like they were always very on the nose. They were just like douchebag like that's like all they would do it would never be like yeah. a, a punchline yeah um worst couple here Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin no longer together Chris Chris Martin is with I believe uh, Dakota, Dakota Johnson. Johnson now yeah wow uh, the yeah. 50 Shades franchise Viva La Vida you know hmm. yeah yeah, for, okay. yeah. <laughs> <Jeff Holy>. uh, <laughs> our, uh, our, are the other ones still together <laughs> Spencer, uh, Pratt, Heidi, Spencer and Heidi, are they? That's actually, yeah, I think so. The, I they saw have. an Instagram of him doing like he sells crystals or something now, yeah. like not meth, yeah. like which would also make sense, but like the actual healing crystals. Yeah, I say it is that that's a real thing. It's not a real thing, but then it's got to be the two that didn't make it. Mm. Gwyneth Paltrow and are you? Is it fair to bring Goop into the equation for Gwyneth yeah, Paltrow? For sure. Absolutely. For sure. There. Yeah, Chris like, Martin so bad at fucking that his wife had to make a sex toy line, like. I think that's pretty bad. I mean, also, some of it's breathing, win off method. You're not in on that? Mm, no. <laughs> Resounding no. I don't know. Like, that would be an, if I went over to a couple's house for dinner and one of them was writing Strawberry Swing and the other one was like making a candle that smelled like their pussy, I'd be like, this was the time of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Is. Is it exclusively <laughs> Strawberry Swing or other Coldplay songs? Strawberry Swing is the best Coldplay song. Mm, strong take. I don't. I don't have enough Coldplay repertoire to go back and forth with you on that. Scientists, Cl- clocks, uh, scientists of the album wasn't for it? a stop motion music video. It's also, is also the song. Um, I don't know anything about them, but what what about them as a couple? Do we know? Just a. a I mean, Chris Martin's a bizarre dude. Gwyneth Paltrow, yes. bizarre person. Didn't they name their kid Apple too? Yeah, yeah. Apple Martin. Apple. Apple. Apple Martin. Yeah. They, something um, funny. Something weird happened after they divorced too. Like they have some weird co-parenting thing. I don't yeah. remember what exactly it is, but it was something weird. Oh, I don't remember. Uh, voting for Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin. Give a hand raise, and I'll read them out. This um, is worse couples, right? Worse, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's four for Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin. Shout out to Chris uh, Spencer Pratt and Heidi Montek, who are still together. Mm-hmm. Good for them. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, the five. Have a picture of them. The five. I will. Yes. Okay. Throw, thank throw, you. Throw, throw one up. Uh, the five seed is Jim and Pam from The Office. Yeah. Jim and Pam from The Office, who Pam's become a bit of a meme herself. You know, people say Pam was the worst. They do that whole thing. Uh, and then the 12 seed couples that sit on the same side of a booth at a restaurant. Ah, uh, guilty. That's a good one. <laughs> good one. <laughs> oh, defend the stance, Kyle. 
Yeah, I, I I like I think it's more natural to sit parallel to somebody than to like no look, look at them and they maybe know. that's why you have such eye contact problems. You're just you're <laughs> sitting on the I same side of the pool with these people. I think I, one thing I precedes the other. Don't do it, but I I like that seating arrangement better. Hmm. I don't know. I feel like it kind of takes out the intimacy of sitting with your partner. You're supposed yeah, to be looking at them. It doesn't work if you get a blooming onion. You have to reach, yeah. reach over the horseradish. Imagine if, they're, if, that's the, if, if you're point. righty there, lefty, you guys are just screwed. Like you're but just reaching over the onion. Intimacy, way easier to give or receive a hand job sitting next to each other. Yeah. Ugh. Also true. Uh, you want a restaurant? To. I'm just yeah. talking about logistics here, Steven. It's a big just throwing them out there. Uh, anyone happen. very adverse to Jim and Pam, though? Yeah, they but, sucked as a couple. They were bad. Even if they were a good couple, that's when I like became disinterested in the show. What was that? Season four? Yeah, the show did get. I mean, The Office is a fucking brilliant show. It, it absolutely got worse once they got together. Mm-hmm. They're also a bad couple. Like he made he made like massive decisions without her go. Like he bought a house without telling her. Like his parents' they, house. He broke up a, a happy happy marriage. Like it's 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 they're not good for each other. Uh, I'm sorry to say he should have stayed with Karen. Jim yeah. Hayes. Or Amy Adams. That too. That too. The fourth or fifth episode. Yeah, Pam, uh, Pam again, getting a lot of hate. Pam's been like kind of the online goat of the office in the last couple of years. People say she she ruined, she's the worst character. She's an asshole. I she's argue Andy worst. Bernard is the worst, but that's just me. Oh, Andy and uh, <gasps> Andy and Aaron was a terrible couple. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh I actually way worse i feel like and because you can't say andy and angela because that was but that was intentionally bad uh, yeah, yeah. Like, andy and aaron like they pro- should have worked in theory a- andy wasn't even aaron's worst boyfriend gabe oh, wow. <laughs> see i'm see i, like I will gabe. say this I like gabe, funny shit, though. gabe gabe is funnier to me after silicon valley when we saw zach woods mm-hmm. play that, a similar character funnier. like i ended up i ended up retroactively liking gabe and I think people retroactively started hating Pam. Like while yeah. the series was running, no one really despised her, did they? No, no. everybody wanted curious. it to happen. They loved exactly, Jimmy. exactly. The will they but won't they? Wasn't their proposal even pretty whack? They put in a gas station. Gas station. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Everything they did was whack. <laughs> All of their best moments were pre being a couple. You know, also, he just of- he just tormented Roy. It all kind of really, worked out though, because Jim and Roy ended up like defending Benghazi together in that movie later that's on. True. So, yeah, they did. That was they true. Tried, they tried resolved their differences. Yeah, they were one of the thirteen soldiers of Benghazi. That's, <laughs> thirteen that's, hours. The true so- story of the soldiers of Benghazi. That's right. That's what it is. That's right. Very long winded. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Stupid. Um. What's worse though? I mean, I don't know. I, I feel like this 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 room right now is kind of into same side of the booth couples. No. Hard no. Yeah, I'm not a fan. I don't really Holy, know. Like, hand jobs kind of suck. It's yeah, facts. Sure. I, again, I was just, we we're debating intimacy. I, I was just talking logistics. A so devil's advocate, if, if, if you were. Mm-hmm. I got to go Jim and I'm going to go Jim and Pam here. <sighs> I, mm, this Does hard. anybody else besides KB sit on the same side of the booth? I don't as- do it. I'm just defending. <laughs> sure, you don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, re- re- reaction change real quick. Wait, so anyone voting Jim and Pam? What is the stereotype for same side of the booth? Are they like just weirdly uh, aggressively PDA or what? Yeah, Usually. they're like they're lovey dovey, if you will. I feel like that's that's overly, like overly PDA couple, works. Feeding each other, yes. Uh, that's easier from across the booth. Yeah, that's true. But I feel like the couple that sits next to each other is more likely to actually do it. What if there's like a candle in the middle of the table? Now your sleeves inflamed. Mm-hmm. I think I, I'm I'm going with the same side couple. It makes it sound like it's like a prop eight thing. Like I'm for same side couples. <laughs> same side couples. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, I'm as well. Same side couples. Okay, Ken Jack. Yep, same side couples. Coley. I mean, Jim and Pam, and truly everyone on that show was written to be a bad person. Every character, they're all bad people. Especially uh, Phyllis. It's, it's, it's Jim and Pam in a blowout. Like, I don't think this is, this is even close. Yep, fuck Phyllis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, che. Same side of the booth. Get them out of here. They're the worst. Child. I vote them. Jim and Pam. 
All right, Owen, break the tie. I was going Jim and Pam as well. Jim and Pam move mm. on the five seed. Oh, is seed. that beanie going to kill you? <laughs> no, I think it's uh, I think it's the radiator in my living room. I think it's the radiation just <laughs> rolling into my body, and <laughs> slowly dying. If I'm in my living room for more than like ten minutes, uh, I can breathe. dude. I think I'm allergic to cesium-105. Every time I get more than 50 Rontgen, I immediately just start vomiting, and my cells start to decay. Another sitcom couple is the hey, Kendrick, what are you wearing? <laughs> I'm wearing a poncho. Why are you keeping That's not allowed. You're wearing, you're wearing something with... Yeah, like, both Kyle and Kendrick look like they're in fucking Arizona. Up. You're wearing a tailored poncho. Stand same up. bullshit. Stand up. <laughs> <laughs> He's naked under that, too. Yes, <laughs> dude, that's part of the glory of wearing a poncho. Uh, All right, Ken, submitting Ken Jack and his Asian girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Ken Jack and Asian girlfriend. What does she have to do with the poncho? She was cheaper. It should make sense. All right, work. hold your nomination for the 15th seed. Ross and Rachel from Friends. At, no, the original Jim and Pam, Ross and Rachel. Uh, that lasted, what, nine seasons of Will They, Won't They? It was like one of the last things to happen in the show. Uh, two assholes particularly you know for various reasons and the 13 seed is actually what, what so a thruple is three people what's a couple of four people mm, a druple it's a uh, druple sounds good i like that no, that's two couples it's called the well, quad fuck that that's not just called a name. quad fuck yeah that. um Wait, change well, anyway life, it's though. it's oh it's you're the 13 seed they all sleep in the same bed. It's Grandpa Joe and his thruple. Mm. Willy Wonka. <laughs> Grandpa Joe and the and the, yeah. and the and the three people. They they all just whatever they do in that bed. I gotta say, I know we said we talk about poop. They poop the bed. I mean, I just like. What do you want me to say? They shit. I, mean, I don't think the they bed. do because I think they just have broth. <laughs> <laughs> no solid waste. Point. Yeah, they just so have you, broth. Do you just sweat broth off? Yeah. You got to piss it out. I think I think they need a chamber pot regardless. So who is he? So it's Grandma Josephine, Grandma Georgina, Grandpa George, and Grandpa Joe. Wait, so, three grandpas? No, <laughs> no Grandma <laughs> Josephine, Grandma up. Georgina. Yo, they're railing out Georgina. Do not believe <laughs> 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 all three of them. No hole no. spared <laughs> in, in the Wonka bed. Literally no hole spared. Yeah, no <laughs> hole <laughs> barred. I mean, just another another group of people who just torment people around them poor charlie what? and his mother their bed is in the middle of the house yep <laughs> how does she vacuum it's a load-bearing bed like they yeah. uh, that house crumples if you yeah. do you think four posts of the bed are load-bearing <laughs> this is yep. this is the less interesting version of the thing uh big cat proposed recently as on uh, in the movie cars do they have car insurance or life insurance do you think the last time they got into that bed was for a nap or for to go to sleep at night I think they knew they were just like, all right, it's time for me just to be in this bed for the next <laughs> 32 years. Mm -hmm. Do you yeah, think like they happened. went in, like, like Joe gets in the bed, he's like, I'm going to let you know I'm not getting up for 30. Years. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am. I am staying here for 30 fucking years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, 96 spring 1996 production, Washington <laughs> school. I played grandpa Joe. <laughs> Well, what, what did what did you Jared Leto have a, like a backstory? You like dove? <laughs> no, wasn't you trying to lay there? <laughs> no, I, I I did very little. Yeah, no, I sat there, but I was I was like a Charlie's guy in the uh, uh, in the chocolate factory. He so. did the exact same thing Jared Leto did. He was sending used condoms. <laughs> <laughs> he was asking buckets of shit to he all go pissing his bed right before he even got the part. He was method acting ahead of time. Wait, did you did you do the full dance like the I never thought that I would like? Did you do all that shit? I mean, we were like nine years old or ten years old, so I, I did everything to the extent that that age could. I, I don't remember specifically. <laughs> I do. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I really remember from that is just blanking on my lines. Um, but he it, doesn't it say he actually doesn't say a ton. He just eggs Charlie on to do the wrong things the whole time. And then and then he teaches him how to burp. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. Nice, nice, real He's nice. Good real grandpa. This is this is Mar Factory now, Charlie. Um, that actor's dead, by the way. Uh they, Grandpa oh, Jonas. <laughs> Grandpa Joe and his thruple. Jeff, no shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's play a game. What year did he die? What year do we think he died? 1982. 
I think he made it to 90 flat. 82, I'm say 82. 96. He's from Malden, that movie Massachusetts. He also, I'm pretty sure he won an Oscar, by the way. I knew you to say that. It's Jack Albert. He did win an Oscar. He's from Massachusetts. Uh, he died at the age of 74 in 1981. Oh, oh so God. close. Damn it. That's felt, I know one of them was born in the 1800s, and he's like from like the German Empire. So who knows what happened with that guy? Did you know Pablo Picasso died in like the 70s? Yeah, yeah, I've read. Yeah, Marshall's yeah. Too. It, it's a viral tweet <laughs> big, from one of our coworkers. Big Trent mm. blog right there. Yeah. Imagine Charlie Bucket bringing a girl home, and she sneaks <laughs> out in the morning, and there's four grandparents in the same bed. <laughs> I would rock. <laughs> Want to join us, sweetie? And keep in mind, keep in mind, that means she slept in his hay pile at the top, like, yeah. <laughs> like, like sandwiched, like, in the roof. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> a hay pile. I'm so jealous. I, I've never seen this. You've never seen Charlie in the Chocolate Factory? Willy Wonka? That's crazy. Willy yeah. Wonka, I, um, so Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory is, for me, a 100 out of, I think it's a perfect, well, I a, do excuse the Cheer Up Charlie song um, when... Charlie's mom has to sing while doing laundry. It is horrible. Um, but again, I, I tweeted this recently. You have to excuse her for her bad song. She has to take care of just four vegetables all day. Well, is there, one well, of them was lying. One was lying. One yeah. was lying. Is that is that the um, Johnny Depp version? Uh, Willy mm-hmm. Wonka on the chocolate. Yeah. Uh, Char- okay, Charlie the, the, is the that's the Johnny Depp one is heinous. I mean, you're giving that a hundred based off Gene Wilder. Yes, I think, it's, I think it's the best performance of all time. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like the movie, oh, yeah, yeah. the movie kind of stinks. His performance is a hundred. It's just, uh, it's just incredible. Wait, um, so there's, real quick, there was a grandpa who like lived in a bed with three kids, or <laughs> yeah, that is incredible. We have a you really know uh, nothing. Describe to us what you think, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Give us the plot. I've never seen it. I've all it was. It never really appealed to me that type of genre. What's the oh, genre? Ch- chocolate factory movies? Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't like the factory I don't like movies. really blue collar factory yeah, like, movies. It's kids in a magical chocolate factory. They get a golden ticket, go to a chocolate factory, and uh, I don't. That's the extent I know. I think it takes some twisted turns. Yeah, I think you would like it. They, there's like carnage in that movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a horror. A lot um, of kids die. Like actually, so straight what, up. What is the couple we're debating? It's a. All yeah, four of the grandparents live in the same bed, and they're oh, it's four down. grandparents. <laughs> yeah, in yeah. The same, they live in a bed, or they just sleep they never down. leave they, the bed. They don't, they do not the move. Bed. All right, yeah, this they that's the worst mm-hmm. <laughs> ever. But when the one grandpa gets invited to the chocolate factory, he gets up and does a little jig. Yeah, mm-hmm. he jigs. He, he like dance, straight up dances on. He right in his daughter's face does, too. A full-on song and dance. He is like he's been in bed for decades, <laughs> and has claimed to not move. Oh. He he the the family is so poor they eat bread that I think is made via the laundry water that they wash their clothes right. in. Yet oh. he still has the family buy him tobacco products. Just to, <laughs> he's. I mean, there's a whole Reddit. There's a Reddit. Uh, that shit is so stupid. Anti Grandpa yeah. <laughs> Joe. Anyway, who are we voting for? I mean, we didn't talk Ross and Rachel. Or Ross. I was gonna Rachel. say I couldn't even remember who they were up against. Uh, uh, Ross, Ross and Joey Geller, actually Rachel significantly Green. worse couple. Actually, like like Ross, Ross and Joey. Rachel and or, Joe. Sorry, jo- sorry, Joey and Rachel. Way way worse. That oh, I mean, yeah, that was a show ruiner. People said the mm-hmm. show, yeah, ruined the show for them. Yeah. Who did? Was it Monica who used to date our co our former coworker? <laughs> I think it was uh. uh Phoebe. Oh. We saw Phoebe. t-shirts of his, his face and his ailment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah, that was Phoebe. Yeah. Phoebe. Lisa oh, Kudrow. Phoebe. Yeah, oh, right, right. Oh, oh, in the show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I thought you meant in real life. Yeah. Yeah. In real life. Hey, Phoebe, yeah. where's that Ross? That fucking cock-eyed, cock-eyed fuck? fuck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a fucking cocksucker. He yeah, shoots a cat. Or he couple. shoots a, a bird. He shoots a bird in the show. Yeah, got a cat like in Glock, real life, too. With like a Glock 9 or something, too. Right. Yeah, I did kill a cat in real life. Big bona fide fact. He admitted it. It's not slender. Yeah, yeah he, that he would does. be the worst he, couple from that show. So I'm going with the, the quad. Uh, Nick? Mm. Yeah, it got to be. Ken Jack? Yeah, quad. Yeah, I voted for two. That moves it on. Uh, Romeo and Juliet versus Gwyneth Paltrow and Chris Martin. A modern day Romeo and Juliet, some might say. Well, oh, wasn't man. she in a Romeo and Juliet movie? She was in Shakespeare um, in Love. 
Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I do. I think it's Romeo and Juliet. Mm. They kill themselves. <laughs> yeah. It did. It is. It, it's, it's not a great yeah, comedy. but scenes that killed themselves. All right, we're going to move on, Romeo and Juliet. Jim and but Pam Chris versus- Martin, Chris Martin, Gwyneth Paltrow got divorced, so. <laughs> which is worse, it's hard to say. Yeah. Yeah. Shane, I mean, Shane, Shane jumps off, life. breaking a vow or killing yourself. Shane yeah. jumps off this podcast, and he's just, like, ranting to us. He's like, oh, those guys just don't understand how disgusting divorce is. I'm- yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, it just feels like way too much paperwork. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're right. Just Jim and yeah. Pam versus Grandpa Joe and his thruple, which I guess I should respect them. All those actors are dead too. Uh Grandma Josephine, Grandma Georgina, and Grandpa mm. George. Mm. Jeff, they played elderly, elderly, elderly people in an old movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah they, old they, all, all four of them. He's super American. The other three were very German. Oh, okay. Their names were. Franziska Leibing, Dora Altman, and Ernst Ziegler. <laughs> yeah, all war criminals or war heroes. Yeah, I was just going to ask. Asked. One of those three were probably <laughs> oh, yeah. Ernst for sure. <laughs> Ernst was loving those speeches. That's why he mm-hmm. got out of bed. He's like, they're just war. I can't be there with war criminals for any more mm-hmm. years. Or were they stuck in the bed? <laughs> <laughs> or were they willingly in the bed together? They were fused uh, they- to the bed. They were so like poor poorly. that they could only have one bed. What size was the bed? Uh, it's like it was like a, like a queen. It wasn't like a small a bed. A queen. Uh, oh, Owen I mean, had to go away. Though. Owen they is definitely laying, having a mild allergic too. reaction. So Owen he's dying. the best to Owen. Uh, Nick, sorry, I cut you off. They were laying. Uh, their feet were like they were. Yeah. Were two. I got. Side, I got right? the picture. Yeah. The... Still a queen for four people. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, no, well, they yeah, they did the, the head to feet thing though, which I think helped them out a little bit. I never thought that I would be all right, Joe. How much money would it take for you to spend two hours underneath the covers? Uh, with the Dutch oven. <laughs> oh, the they don't moth even need to fart over it's your immediate. head. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Oh. It smells like old people and it's like ass. reading a book with a flashlight under there. Oh, oh. <laughs> It's just Dude, like really fog. It just yeah, fog. I'd say if it's a fog. Yeah, your your light wouldn't be able to penetrate under there. <laughs> uh, just constantly one thirty eighting. Uh, uh, do, does Jim and Pam have a? Nine. Do Jim and Pam have a? An edge here, or is it? It's the thruple. Or, or the? I mean, the, the thing the is, quad. like the quad. In order to like they stay in bed other forever, other the <laughs> they definitely uh, fucked at some point. They probably like, yeah, they had to have gotten along, right? Yeah. Was there any? Thing implied sexually in the movie. definitely not yeah yeah <laughs> so they, implied. they did not have to stay in this bed right exactly it had to have been sexual or else they would have gotten out of bed they were willingly voluntarily in the bed as a four <laughs> yes. yes and three of them spoke either no english or only german some english and then joe speaks perfect new england english yeah straight from massachusetts mm-hmm. yeah and was this a good plot point it was just the beginning. It showed how poor they were. Yeah, they're super poor. Like, like house falling apart, hut poor. They had to save up money for a chocolate bar. Poor. Yeah. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Get advance them. <laughs> ah, so we'll, we'll no, advance Grandpa Joe. They were living the life. They were. They were great freeloaders. Wow. Well, I will say, to be fair, we don't know if Josephina, Georgina, and George could have stood up, but Joe had some shit up his sleeve that was very clear. So Joe, yeah, he, he infects the whole quad. Uh, and then going on to the finals, Romeo and Juliet against Grandpa Joe and his thruple, the quad pull. Mind you, Romeo and Juliet killed themselves. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Still true. Yeah, but unless, then, unless you're watching, unless you've only seen the Nomeo and Juliet version. How does that one end? I know, but they do have a sequel and they bring in Sherlock Knowles at one point, I think. <laughs> oh, yeah. There was a whole on your left kind of thing. It's hilarious. It's awesome. Yeah. Does anyone have, does anyone have a have a, a strong take here? Besides you have Nick? to say, like, obviously, Romeo and Juliet killed themselves. But what kind of quality of life? was grandpa joe and the rest of the grandparents living they might as well have been dead honestly mm-hmm. i mean 
they're they are they are the i mean romeo and juliet dying that was obviously unfortunate for their families the families were very sad but yeah i mean i don't know it's a choice they made they were sad like grandpa joe and 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 the three other fucks they were bringing the family down like they yeah, were making it significantly harder at every turn and step of the way counterpoint though R- romeo and juliet were italian which makes them way worse than German and English people. So that's like an automatic minus yes. points for them. So no one is worse than the English. You think the, the Italians are better than the English? I am Italian. And also, so Irish, am I. So yeah, fuck the, <laughs> <laughs> fuck the English. Yeah, the English I, are the worst. I they, was just looking at pictures of them in the bed, and it is it's one, of the, one of the grandpas, I think, is dead. <laughs> mm. The other grandpa. Oh, oh in the movie, he's just not alive. He's dead. <laughs> And he has been for a long, long time. Yep. He just can't uh, move him. Horrible people. Knitting. What are you knitting? Got to do some <laughs> fucking work. Um, Stand up. Yeah. Uh, uh, I think this bed, this bed was custom built, too, because it has like four separate headboards on it. Yeah. Oh, it has to be custom. Like, there, yeah. There's there's two headboards on each side. It was a custom. Yeah. yeah. Custom job. <laughs> what the fuck? Che, when you were in the bed. Was it how was it set up? It was a floor. <laughs> it was a, it was a fourth it was a fourth grade play, Jeff. This this, this production stinks. Yeah, it stinks. <laughs> um, what's the what, hold on? Was the dude who had the the monster truck? Did it, he at least get the Gene Wilder role? <laughs> he had to have. <laughs> uh, you, no, you. <laughs> there there was a very eccentric fellow by the name of Ori Katz who got the uh, the Willy Wonka role. <laughs> yeah, that sounds and great. Katz. Even by eccentric, Jay. What? What do you mean by eccentric? It's a term that Grandpa George would love. I'm sure that's why he thinks. What do you mean by that? Ori cats. What do you mean, Che? What does eccentric mean? Um, True story. So we had a a field in the back in the back of the school where you would run around it like three times or something like that, and it was a mile. He was very fast. He was athletic, but but he would spin his right arm the whole time he was running. Um. I guess it propelled him. He was very fast. Um, that's the type of fellow he was. Very smart. Um, about Ori Katz. But, uh, yeah, Ori Katz. Hopefully he's doing well. Oh, Ori Katz, smart, smart person. He he started going by Ryan at some point, and I think sixth or seventh <laughs> grade, which was very confusing. <laughs> if that is a, a quite. You dead named him. I mean, his name was Ori. Like that, he lived down the street from me. He's a partner at a practice group, leader of finance of, and bankruptcy practice group in San Francisco. So he's everything worked out for him, I guess. Sounds about right. Good for him. Good <laughs> for Ori. Fellow like him. Yeah, uh, like exactly. San Fran eccentric fella. Yeah. Does does Grandpa Joe and the Thruple, do they move on? No, I think I think they're run ends here. All yeah. right, Nick, what's your vote? Romeo and Juliet kill themselves. Okay. I'm going as Grandpa teens. Joe. As teens. Hmm. Coley? Yeah, I mean, it, it's even worse than what Nick's describing. One of them fake killed themselves, which forced the other to really kill themselves. Like, think of the HBO documentary that would spurn today. That's true. Mm. And they never even fucked. No. Not once. No. Wait. Dude. No. no, they didn't. Uh, well, I don't know about that. They might They might have shared a tender kiss, which in Shakespearean times means like well, full they, on well, penetration. Well, obviously, West Side Story, I mean, they... They do it in West Side Story, and that's based on Romeo and Juliet. Do Romeo Is it? and Juliet? Yeah, but wasn't that like the Bronx? Sex. Yeah, that was yeah. the Bronx. If that they get in the Bronx, then <laughs> they advance. They are. There is a scene in the beginning of Act Three. Romeo and Juliet are together in Juliet's bed right before dawn, having spent the night with each other and feeling reluctant to separate. We we're okay. meant to infer mm-hmm. that they, oh, had they, sex. they had sex. Yeah, Wait, Chad, yeah. you didn't know it was inspired by Romeo and Juliet, West Side Story. No. Sharks and the Jets? Yeah. No. He's like, oh, there's no sharks in Romeo and Juliet. No way. <laughs> uh, Ken Jack, your vote. Again, it, it's a rock and a hard place here because like I I really fucking hate those 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 Nazi fucking uh, grandpas, but at the same time, I hate Italians. So it's like a really I don't know where to go. <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm gonna have to go do? with the I have to go with the quad. The quad. I'm okay, two to two, Che. Quad for sure. All right, Kyle. I mean, because Romeo and Juliet is synonymous for like the perfect couple for some reason. And the fact yeah. that they're so far from that pisses me off. So, yeah, them. 
All right, here we go. Owen, having an allergic reaction is going to send the vote in. All right, the vote is in from Owen. Grandpa Joe moves on. Wow. Mm. Grandpa Joe moves on. Bottom of the bracket. The three seed, Forrest Gump and Jenny. That was a very popular oh, nomination. Yeah. Oh, very, very. Yeah, <laughs> but I'll tell you what, this 14 seed is a fucking great 14. This one comes from Ken Jack. It is <laughs> counting crow singer Adam Duritz and any oh. 90s female star. Wow. He dated yeah. every he dated the entire cast the of hottest. Mm -hmm. the hottest. The hottest women of the era. He was he was the 90s Pete Davidson. Exactly. Yes. He was way worse. He was disgusting. All right, let's yeah. name a couple. Uh let's see. Just people he's dated over the years. Um I need a picture of him like from 10 years ago with his fake. Courtney dreadlocks. Cox, Jennifer <laughs> Aniston. Emmy Rossum, Courtney Cox, Christina Emmy Applegate, Rossum? Mary what Louise Parker. There? Emmy Rossum? Dude, she was like 18 when she did Phantom of the Opera, and that was like 2004. Jennifer was... Aniston when Nona Ryder. I mean, it's just on the, the list of Adam Duritz. <laughs> And he's ugly. That's the big thing here. <laughs> like, uh, no offense intended. I know it's a mean thing to say, but like, he's just, a, he's, he's an ugly man. And like, the fact that he dated every insanely attractive person from the 90s is nuts. All right, everybody on three, say your favorite Wait, counting crows. Well, is... Favorite counting crows song. <laughs> My favorite. Ready, <laughs> My favorite Counting Crows song is regarded as like the worst song of all time. Yeah, Big Yellow Taxi. Oh, no. right, you gotta have a song. If you need to look one up, I'll give you a second because Owen is back. We're, Owen is rejoining after nearly dying on the pod. Owen, you gotta get this ready. On the count of three, everyone's gonna say their favorite Counting Crows song. Oh, God. One, two, three. Mr. Jones. All right, let's see if anybody got those picks. Uh, moving on to voting. I think we heard two Mr. Jones there. Maybe it accidentally in one. They put out an album last year. No way. Really? It's called uh, How Did I Lose the Internet? Where'd that go? Uh, Extra Butter. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Wait, butter Miracle? Oh, excuse me. Butter Miracle. Yes. What the uh, I I'm gonna vote for Adam Duritz and all of those '90s stars he dated. Have over to Forrest Gump and Jenny. Yeah, not even. Ben Jack made the great point that he's ugly. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's true. Like he's ugly and dated a literal top ten list from that era. Yeah, isn't like, that the, isn't that the dream though? Yeah, it was yeah, like yeah, him and Derek Jeter battling dudes. it out. Him and Derek <laughs> Jeter had an unspoken battle off the field. Yes. Exactly, but one thing is that Derek Jeter is much richer and much more handsome, which means that's I give the win to Duritz because he and didn't have those slide. Like he didn't have those advantages. He wasn't sending people out with a fucking basket of fruit in the morning. Like, so we're, we're I think we're we should deify Duritz as the god he is, but he's correct. also that's also the worst couple. Exactly. Look, uh, we focus too much on Duritz. The other couple here forrest gump and and the worst human probably Being who's ever lived ever yeah. she was abusive to a mentally challenged person and and they gave him aids gave maids gave maids <laughs> yeah, wait 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 she abused a mentally challenged guy and gave him aids <laughs> <laughs> that was a debate this is well, she's oh, one God. half of the couple, though, is the thing. And for yeah, Adam, like, Adam Durant is sitting at home listening, like, are you fucking kidding me right <laughs> yeah. now? She wasn't ugly. Adam Durant <laughs> gave so no AIDS. AIDS. Forrest Gump was great. Jenny gave him AIDS. <laughs> uh, so what's, what's the vote? Oh, we'll start with you. You hopped in. Forrest Gump and Jenny versus Adam Durant's 90 stars. Um, yeah, sorry. It was good. I think we caught an allergic reaction early since I was on Zoom, which is good. <laughs> and I, uh, We're saving lives. I had to take some Benadryl and that started kicking my ass. So I got some coffee, but I will go with Forrest Gump and Jenny. Mm. Kyle. AIDS, mentally challenged. Bully. We, we as men should love the fact that uh, Duritz accomplished this. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. It's also unattainable is the problem. <laughs> yeah. But it wasn't also, like he wasn't good at music. He wasn't, he wasn't a good singer. He it didn't ugly. do anything. Yeah, well. dreadlocks that looked like a pineapple, I think. Yeah. yeah. 
all he did was sling cock. That's all we know that he's actually good at. And it's clearly Forrest Gump and his horribly yes. abusive relationship. She, I don't, she also like the the least evil thing she did was use him for his millions of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Dump off her children with him or child with him. Uh Che. Yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, so, uh, what what are the what are the choices I got lost in the the side convo? Is, is this a no, is this a landslide for Forrest and Jenny? Oh she's, yes, she's yes, she's she's win. the worst. Ken she's Jack and I, I want to know Ken Jack and I, we're gonna vote for Adam Dirtz and yeah. I think ninety stars. But okay, it's haters. You gotta uh, understand that this couple is uh, involves two people. Forrest is a great man. Jenny just sucked. But Adam I don't Dirtz, even think Forrest was a great man. Now, now you're being as bad as Jenny Coley. And uh, uh, the yeah, sixth seed. Honestly, what did he do that intentionally that was great? Uh, he killed Vietnamese farmers trying to defend their homeland. Number one, that's the greatest thing probably. <laughs> and then number two was good at ping pong or something. He's good at like, ping pong. Scored that touchdown <laughs> once. Yeah, in Alabama. <laughs> one TD. Yeah. Uh, the sixth seed, Christian Gray and Anastasia Steele from Fifty Shades of Gray. Yeah. Eh. Uh, though I will note more so the I actually think the, the 11 seed is going to win in a landslide. And I actually think uh, KB is going to like it the most. Uh, but particularly the on screen version of that couple is very off putting. Uh, the 11 seed is YouTube prank couples. Oh, oh, on YouTube yeah. that prank oh that's great. Who, oh, I always oh, who picked one of that? That's Lance. Yeah. KB, KB sent a specific one, but I just thought I thought I needed to lump them all together. That's fucking who was who you sent in? I That's said really, in, um, Lance 210 and Lance his persistently pranked yeah. girlfriend who he would fake dead in front of. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then the, the Prince family, there's this one screenshot. They released this video. CPS took our kids from us. Oh, yeah. And then seafood boil mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, those people just have fun. They just have no fun. way. Oh, God. Uh, they, <laughs> I mean, you, that and tweet it from Anus real quick. <laughs> <laughs> they YouTube prank couples are it's it's brutal. They're they're they make millions too, but it yeah. is brutal. Did, the one girl broke up with a guy, and then he put out a video that she died and was like talking to him through a Ouija board, <laughs> and she was like, "What the fuck?" Jesus <laughs> Christ! They always work. take it just significantly too far, or to levels that are just like you're like, ah, that's not even funny anymore. Or they're just just Mostly. so fake. Yeah, right. yeah, and, and they don't have—they're not sad. actors, so like they don't. They're going to be like the boy who cried wolf when like something does happen to them. Yeah, and they still upload the video. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, significantly yeah. Significantly less empathy than there would be if it was not the million. And Jack, who was the would that TikTok couple you were obsessed with fall under this umbrella? Uh, Which Angel one, mommy and, and oh the, yeah. True, but they're yeah. like they're 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 not self aware enough, or, or they they have a level of self awareness reg- actually. So I feel like they're not. Uh-huh. I do have a lot of couples <laughs> on mine, which I would a, pick on there though. You think they were self aware? They were t- not. <laughs> you know, you'd be you'd be, you'd be you'd be surprised. Their strategy behind a lot of the weird shit they do. It's really weird. Uh, I do have couples though on TikTok though that I think would be perfect fit for this. What was the other choice? Yeah, I don't even remember. I think if like the premise of your account or your channel is that you're, I'm just moving on YouTube prank couples, but continue Kyle. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think if you're a couple in general on YouTube or the internet and that's your thing, then you're the worst. (laughs) Mm. Okay. Yeah. I did. uh, One of my, uh, these are some of the things I submitted. One of them was like couples that share social media accounts, which I do think fall on. They fall under that same umbrella. Definitely. Oh my gosh! YouTube prank couples. Uh, the seven seed is Anakin and Padme from Star Wars. Um, he just killed her. He just killed her. Mm-hmm. Uh, Palpatine. Oh, maybe. she died in childbirth. Yeah, Did but she his though? Anger There's, killed her. There was nothing medically wrong with her. Do you not remember? I remember that droid saying that. <laughs> maybe don't. Imagine, do. it was just a, imagine it was just a <laughs> malfunctioning Nick, droid. Nick just doesn't believe the droid. Um, and going up against the ten seed, uh, Siegfried. And anybody but Roy. So this is Siegfried wow. with anyone unless it's Roy. Do you know oh, how hard wow. it is to go to a bar without KB and somebody, oh, they don't care about me. They just want to know where KB is. Imagine being Siegfried going out. <laughs> it's like, I feel like this kind of like YouTube couples 
it should almost be Vegas couples because I feel the exact same. If I saw a Teller and Penn was nowhere to be oh, found, I'd be furious. Oh. Just Teller? Yeah. And Teller doesn't even <laughs> talk. Solo I'd teller. call the police. I'd be like, you go to see a to Teller YouTube. solo live show. <laughs> <laughs> he just stands there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fucking Teller. <laughs> There, I do like their magic show though on that one channel where they try to. It's good. Fool. Yeah, it is pretty interesting. Does, does Teller talk on that show? Nah, you nah, fucking he whispers into Penn's ear. <laughs> he does. He's a big. He does. It's how he communicates. Yeah. Uh, Anakin and Padme though, crappy couple. Not a good yeah. couple. Pretty shitty. Jealous. Mm-hmm. Coley, the original licorice pizza, Anakin and Padme. Fact. Oh, no, actually, blank check. I think is still before that. <laughs> that Definitely one wanted to fuck no, that boy, right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Star Wars is in a, a galaxy far away, a long, long time ago. So technically, it's before true. blank well, check. How did no pedophiles make it so far? Wait, what does licorice pizza mean? <laughs> no, that's that's amazing. Actually, that you just it's it's a movie. It's a, it's a uh, new movie, but it's an older girl dates a younger guy. I don't hate Steven. Like, it's such a preposterous title for a film. Like, I think I was on with you guys when that trailer came we out. We figured it out. Huh? We, we, figured, we just, it just means a record, which I didn't realize, but yeah. Sure. But for a name of a movie with no pretense, stinks. It was very yeah. surprising. Wait, um, how, how, how young is the guy? Like, how, we're not talking like illegal right we're talking no that's was, blank that's yeah it's technically they, yeah he's he's blank check was illegal you're talking just, blank blank check was like he was like eight that was like a 20 25 year age difference yeah he i was, was like, distracted by the fact that he had a water slide yeah, like, yeah all right <laughs> a that, water slide well, yeah, out of course that bed. older woman wants to fuck him <laughs> yeah <laughs> to be fair to defend uh this woman she fell in love with the computer he was speaking through Macintosh. Uh, uh yeah, Coley, that's called To Catch a Predator. That's the show it's aired <laughs> for years. For sure. But uh I think she only kissed him on the cheek. Like, no harm, no foul. No, but she like gave her, her his number or something. Like oh, she definitely. left it open-ended. Blank check two. Um that <laughs> villain was quite the hoot, by the way. I, I rewatched that movie the other day because people were mad at me with my score. We reviewed it for LCB, and Ken Jack and I just eviscerated it. Mm, bad movie. Ken Jack has not as much nostalgia for Disney Channel original movies. So he's a very unbiased look on them. I think that was in theaters. I don't think that was uh, right. It's not. I got yelled at about that too, which is very. It's in that true. same. I, it's, I was it's in wrong. That, it's adjacent though to DComs yeah. for sure. It's pretty impressive how far he stretched a million dollars. He did. That was, yeah. That was the mid nineties. That was he bought a mansion. How much did, what a castle. How much did Richie? How much did Richie Rich have that they had their own Mount Billions, Rushmore right? in their own backyard? Had to be billions. Back you then, think. Richie he probably Rich had like five hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> they were it's just it, white. They world's just richest. <laughs> what a great title is! Is Richie Rich Jr. is world's richest boy? I like being a richest boy. Richest boy. <laughs> Stephen Chase seems like a big Dennis the Menace fan. Oh, yeah, yeah has to be. You don't like hijinks? <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> I'm selling Dilly bars at DQ. Uh, Siegfried and Roy. Siegfried and anybody but Roy or Anakin and Padme. Nick. It's a nightmare thinking of Siegfried without Roy. They even <laughs> yeah, it is. kind of close That's to each my other. Vote too. Coley. Um, what if like are we counting Siegfried and like a Siberian tiger as a couple? No, I think just human. Okay. So I was going to say, that's still pretty cool. Um, <laughs> what an arbitrary ruling. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, I, I can't stand to listen to any more Star Wars talk. So Siegfried and no Lord. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's hard. The Because Anakin and Padme being together literally causes like genocide and billions and billions, maybe trillions of deaths. But that's all fictional. Siegfried without Roy has to take the vote. Jay, like Siegfried and like Coach Dugs, we're gonna make them the worst. <laughs> what? <laughs> of all what? people, <laughs> I'm gonna you move said, on from that. KV and Owen, what would you have voted for? You said I'm actually not allowed you to expand on that. I know what Steven's doing. You said Siegfried and anybody but Roy, and yeah. he's coming up with lists of people who would fall <laughs> into that category. I like that. Yeah, I guess Dugs isn't Roy. 
<laughs> we don't know that. We don't know that for certain. It's a for sure. What a reveal that would be. <laughs> Come to the audience like I've been Roy the whole time. Our coworker, Coach Duggs, who looks like a video game character, turns out to be Roy. Mm-hmm. From Siegfried and Roy. It's also like... Siegfried and Roy Pam's <laughs> Yeah, I was going to say... Uh, Siegfried with no Roy also kind of implies one of the tigers murdered Roy. So one of the tigers murder. did murder. That's pretty Roy. sick. Kind of. Pretty sure one of them mauled him. Did he not? Mauled yeah. him. Yeah. Yeah. Sad. And then they had a, an Better. animated show, and I think one of the tigers was voiced by Cheryl Hines from Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. Dropped out of um, full, full circle. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and the last matchup of the first round. I'm gonna say the 15. The 15 seed. We got to figure out. So the options are. Richie and Janice Soprano, Meadow Soprano and Noah, or Harry Potter and Wait. Ginny. Oh, that Noah, never mind. Noah never mind. Tannenbaum, Jamal Ginsburg, the Hasidic homeboy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, <laughs> I remember the character. Woded character. And then yeah. again, Harry Potter and Ginny. Also, I'm going to throw another one in there. Couples with joint Facebook accounts. Yeah, that's I think that that's, falls under the YouTube umbrella. That's, that's what I was saying. That, that's yeah. what I was saying before is that they should fall under the the okay, ones. so so those are the so, three. Those are YouTube pranksters specifically. Yeah, I yeah, hate Harry Potter. I think Harry Potter and Ginny is a horrible couple and forced. Um, but KB, you you nominated two 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 things from the same show. Three. <laughs> Who else Wait. did I add another one in there? Right. Did the Hasidic gangster date Meadow Soprano? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll go with that. Mm-hmm. KB, what's your vote? Well, I mean, Janice and Richie are two of like the worst humans. But that's what makes them so great, though. Like they're purposely bad. They still like she murdered him, which is so cool. That was a great scene. Okay. He's like, he's like, "Uh, get the give me the fucking lasagna or whatever, and just comes back with the nine and just smokes them. And not only that, constitutes a good couple. Yeah, yeah, on TV for sure. Yeah, Italian. That's like this. That's just that's just marriage. Romeo and Juliet are terrible because they killed themselves. Richie. And Janice are good because she murdered okay. him and stayed alive. Richie, not only that, he runs over Beansy and and paralyzes him for life. And then he gets what? He gives the jacket to Tony. Another great scene. And, the, and J- Tony gives the jacket to like her, his house cleaner. Like it all. They're a great couple. They're a great TV couple because you love to hate them. OK. Oh, and she also what? She fucks Richie and makes Richie put a gun to her head while she while he fucks her. Right. Richie could Richie and her could also be, you know, up for debate. Yeah, I, I've never seen this show. <laughs> you can also do Junior and Bobby San Filippo. <laughs> um, so which one? I'll let Kyle, Kyle, I'm gonna let you pick. I'm gonna let you pick KB. Um, I'll go Meadow and Noah Tannenbaum. <laughs> I don't mm. think they stand a chance against the two seed, Nick. Josh Duhamel and Fergie. Hold on. Mm. Who else would have Harry dated? Cho Chang? Yeah. Who was Ginny going to date? Kingsley Shacklebolt? <laughs> <laughs> Great character. Cronus was a lynx. Wait. Or what about or what about the 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 one Jewish wizard according to Jenny Goldstein? Rowling? Yeah. Yeah. Anthony that would Goldstein. never work. Yeah. By the way, Kingsley Shacklebolt was like a full-grown man. Like that was like a 50-year-old man. In Harry Potter, I was just trying to bring up J.K. Rowling's <laughs> the really <laughs> blatant racism. Oh yeah, no, he she loves uh, Shackabolt, the guy who has like one line in the movie. It's Dumbledore's he, got style. You may not like the man, but he's got style. <laughs> yeah, uh huh. Um, Josh Dumel and Fergie, though Nick. <laughs> Although Nick, res- Nick hates Josh Dumel and Fergie. Fergie oh, looks like the bottom a of a shoe. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> they, they are responsible for one of the funniest celebrity couple moments when Josh Dumail came to defend Fergie after the national anthem debacle, despite them not being married anymore, and like went really hard after Draymond Green. I don't know if you remember that. Very well, annoying. because I think the national anthem is a uh, not a rights protected song, I'll be playing. Fergie singing the national anthem for those who may not have heard it. Uh, it is, it's, it's wonderful. Here we go. I think that. Oh, say, can you yeah. see by the dawn's 
early light. What's so proudly wave at the twilight's last gleam? What is Steph Curry smile? Whose bright stripes? Curry's smirk is probably the best part. Anthony Anderson. Right around the part where we're going to start this going. The rocket's the bombs bursting in air. You guys also rock hard right now? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. If also, if I'm shocked, God, I'm suing you for having my name associated with this video. Oh, oh, oh Raymond, that's right. Yeah, look. <laughs> oh, Curry, I think so bad. Oh, my. <laughs> Dude. Wait, what, and what exactly did Josh Dumel say? He he went after Draymond Green on Twitter, I think, and then something else after that. He went on. He went on Ellen. The, I mean, I mean, the third video. Finish. That's the best video here. Which one? <laughs> the third video on yep. the screen. Yeah. Yep. If you are response, watching, you can. You can see what it. Is they responded to him. The yes. Warriors. Yeah. After Dumel was bad, they had a remix and they danced uh. to it in the locker room. <laughs> kind of a great remix. <laughs> um, good remix. The the worst national anthem rendition of all time. And Carl Weathers. Them. Well, yeah. Carl Weathers is worse. <laughs> that was so funny. Lewis, Car, yes. Sorry, Carlos. Carl, Carl Weathers is actually Carl great Lewis, one. Though, I, I, there's a charm to it. Not, the uh -oh. Fergie one is just so bad. So I remember Josh Dumel did an interview on, during his presser for When in Rome with Kristen Bell. And uh, he was talking about how they were filming in Rome and he's addicted to dip. And so is Fergie. And so Fergie would fly home, <laughs> bring home, bring back logs of dip. So then they would just dip together on set. So there were a couple hey, that addicted to what, like tobacco dip. Yeah. Chewing tobacco. I thought he meant like, like French onion. This whole, <laughs> yeah, for like this entire part of this. Like Dill. I think I could find it there. <laughs> Where's Fergie from? So Fergie dips. Um, mm, love that. Miami would be my original guess. I feel like all the Black Eyed Peas are just from somewhere in the FGL area. Is Will I am? Do you, do you know what her name is? What her what her <laughs> her current name is right now? <laughs> That's just how they pronounce William in England. Her name He's is Fergie like Dumel. British reality show. Mm. <laughs> Will I am? She's, She's from, from California. California. You know, she wrote the original version of um, Let's Get It Started based off of her experience with Dumail. Yeah. Do you know, do you know remember the original version of the song, what it was titled? Sure, yeah. Yeah. Okay, just, we're just making sure we're all aware. Yeah, all. No. I mean, they played that on radio. They didn't even bleep that out on radio. No, it's, no. It was also Jenny's favorite song. Honor she did. Um, <laughs> Sapiosexual. I mean, this has to be Dumail and Fergie, right? She was an anti-sapiosexual, if anything. <laughs> yeah, had a reverse sapiosexual. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Jeez. That's pretty funny. Um, it's Fergie and Dumel, right? Uh, yeah, it's Fergie. Well, I know option? zero about their relationship. He defended it's... that national anthem. Is there any Oh, that's, yeah, know? then that's... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He, he, had no, he had no qualms with her rendition of that national anthem. And they were divorced oh. at the time, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I that's... thought Fergie kind of brought the heat. You <laughs> liked that. Nice. <laughs> Any other song references you want to make? Like the 
Oh, I thought you were saying you were rock hard from like patriotism. You're talking about Fergie in that dress? No comment. <laughs> it was both. <laughs> just, wait, does Fergie do it for you, Che? <laughs> Not really, but in that one? Pretty dece. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're right. Pretty, pretty dece. dece. Pretty dece. dece. <laughs> oh wait, God, pretty really dece cool. gets you rock hard? <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> you gotta be thrive. Uh, my what are we going for here? Did you Mal and Fergie move on? <laughs> I'm fucking throbbing over to this hard six. <laughs> uh, it's weird because like KB's pick is actually great. Like Meadow and and what's his name? What's his name? Noah, right? Noah, he, bomb. He Noah was stunk. So One of the most unbearable characters. But also, I think that was part of his design. You know what I mean? Like he's yeah, supposed to be in... so hateable. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Yeah, I feel like the worst couple that we've discussed is Fergie and the National Anthem. Dude, Mel (laughs) is kind of like a stand-up guy through all this. Mm, True. I don't want his name uh, drugged through the mud. Former LCB guest, Josh Dumel. Good guest. Yeah, he was just a ride or die. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Even though, again, they were divorced when he defended her. That's what I mean. It would have been super easy for him to be like, yeah, "Yeah, that was trash. Next next round, (laughs) though, they're facing Siegfried and anyone but Roy. Do they stand a chance? Mm, No. That's like, Siegfried uh, and Dugs. I, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a close second. <laughs> I think I think Siegfried and, and anyone but Roy probably move on. Anyone anyone attest? I'm Imagine that. seeing Siegfried without Roy. This is this is essentially the champion, the 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 bottom half of the bracket championship. Forrest Gump and Jenny against YouTube prank couples. Forrest Gump and Jenny. Forrest Gump yeah. and Jenny. Uh, it's a finals matchup, but yeah. Yep. AIDS. Want to say? <laughs> I, I know you, cra- you say could just stop bad. there. Well, I that is the crazy boys. You boys, can stop there. Uh, Forrest Gump and Jenny, they gonna beat Siegfried and anybody but Roy. AIDS. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I didn't say which. I didn't say which. Siegfried and Roy were gay together, were they not? Ooh, I don't know actually. Kyle, oh, no, 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 how, how do you not know that your fucking a- a- instant messenger screen name was named after them? I just had the DVD and I loved it. Uh, person. Hmm. I didn't know about their sexual preference. <laughs> were they? I mean, I thought they were definitely same side of the booth guys. Oh, one of them got COVID. <laughs> Damn. What? Oh no. One's <laughs> dead. I'm pretty. Yeah. Sure. Well, one is. So it's the one that's alive. I'm I just don't know which one sure it is. They're both dead. And April twenty twenty. Horn. Who's Horn? They were former Ludwig lovers Horn. and lifelong friends. Okay. They never talked about their relationship, though. Okay, yeah, former lovers. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're both not alive. They're both dead. They're both dead. Yeah. So heavy AIDS bracket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And lots of Germans too. Between this um, and the, the Wonka in the, uh, in the final, in the fi- in the final, it's actually a very German final. Holy shit! It. Oh no, it's not because they don't move on. That's right. Forrest Gump no, and Jenny sure move on. Uh, Forrest Gump and Jenny against Grandpa Joe and the the three Germans in his bed. <laughs> Oh boy! But wait, before we vote, I have uh, an Ori Katz story came to mind. I think you guys would appreciate. <laughs> yeah, and uh, so. there was a gift exchange, Secret Santa, or I guess the Secret Santa where you can like steal Yankee Swap. Um, and mm-hmm. fourth grade, ten years old, everyone's thinking, "Oh, get the biggest gift." Ori was a clever fella, so he got a very, very large circle, and everyone's wondering what it was. It was the first gift. Everyone stole it from everybody. The person who got it at the end unwrapped it, kept unwrapping it, kept unwrapping it. It was all wrapping paper, and inside was a box of raisins. <laughs> Smart guy. Ori. What an asshole. I <laughs> like Ori. He got in trouble for it. The, the person who got it cried. I like what this guy. Uh, championship yeah, matchup. What do we think? I mean, <sighs> it's got to be abusing the guy with special needs and giving him AIDS. <laughs> gotta be. Not only that, she gave him a child and then died very soon after. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's he going to do? What, how, what's he going to do with that kid? The state's taking that kid tomorrow. <laughs> and didn't the guy say the guy who wrote uh, the book, did he say in the sequel that the child had AIDS? Was the child born with AIDS? If that's it, then come on. It's canon. 
I'm pretty yeah, sure the child was born with AIDS. To include or as a mercy rule. <laughs> <laughs> so that means Forrest Gump and Jenny are the winners, it seems. Yeah. I mean, yeah, it's yeah. gotta be. Gotta be. Yeah. They take the oh, title. Those old people shared a bed. <laughs> <laughs> so, so did so did give each other AIDS. So now the winners of the worst couple bracket, Forrest Gump and Jenny from the movie Forrest Gump. That's correct. <laughs> yes. Mm, that's uh, any other comments? I'm trying to think of any that we had or that I sent that I, I didn't make it. Was that um, that was a ninety four movie, right, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. It was. It was yeah. Early pretty 90s. sure. That was like it beat out every other best movie of all time for a best yes. picture. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. If if there was like a, the, the one of the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park got AIDS, I mean, game would have been over. Yeah. You never know. Um, the other ones I had, I had like Elon Musk and Grimes just because they were very insufferable. But I feel like that was also just kind of like a overplayed uh, couple to put on here. Little same little time. Yeah. Also, I had like a almost like a bit feel to it too, right? Yeah, for sure. John Snow and Daenerys, very hated couple. Oh yeah, I uh, I actually sent in John Snow and the redhead. Oh, oh eager. I thought they were okay. Rose. Yeah. Ross. I was, sure. I, I I was eager. My boy could do better. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think she took advantage of him. He was just dying to fuck. She jennied him basically <laughs> because he was like he was the Forrest Gump of the of the Wildlings, more or less. <laughs> yeah. The Every uh, friend group has a Forrest Gump. <laughs> OJ and Nicole Brown Simpson. Jesus. Ooh. Yeah, that would have been a tough one to beat. Um, um I put Adam Sandler in any one of them is like movie wives. Yeah, because like he, he inexplicably hot. He was like Adam Duritz of on screen, which is what makes Adam Duritz even more incredible. He did probably. It in real life. Yeah. <laughs> uh that's it. Any ideas for next week? I want to go real broad. What is it? We have six people, six maybe everyone just brings a thing. We can we can Best dames, best best broads. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Dame, best dames is yeah. Girl, best knock around, gal. Broads, yeah. Broads and dames. Oh, I'll bring my own sixteen. <laughs> broads and dames. Uh, Sounds like a frat party theme. <laughs> <Broads. laughs> that's it for Nick, Ken, Jack, Coley, Che, KB, and now Healthy Owen. Good to see. Good to see. That was scary. Yeah. That's it. We'll talk to you next time.